Days of Our Lives August 1 5 Recap On Monday, August 1st of Days of Our Lives, Steve Johnson was stuck thinking of the best idea to deal with Orpheus, Akamai Lohar. Speaking of Orpheus, he failed to convince Marlena Evans to give Christian Maddox, Evan Freer some advice. Also on Monday's episode, he and Sean Brady, a DNA test done to find out who Sean Christian's biological father is. Leo Stark and Gwen Rissish will also toast to Jake Dimira's demise. Leo then admits that he thinks Gwen is the one who killed Abigail Dimira Devereaux. Towards the end, Sarah Horton asked Marlena to hypnotize her to find out what happened on the night of Abby's murder. On Tuesday, August 2nd, Sarah was hypnotized. Turns out, she was with her ex-husband, Rex Brady, on the night of Abby's demise. What's more, we got to see Gwen check into her hotel room and play around with the Sarah mask. We also got to see all the Vitaly lie about being married to Jake before he died. She then wanted Gabi Hernandez to give her an executive position plus a seat on the board at Daimira Enterprises. Of course, E.J. Daimira doesn't believe Ava. However, he'll play along with her games. Dr. Willem Rolf told Chris Daimira that he had been keeping Stefan Daimira alive by using artificial means. Moreover, he'll also admit that he needed a heart transplant. So, he'll be transporting Jake's heart into his twin brother's heart. On Wednesday, August 3, Evan is revealed to be Sean Christian's bio dad. The news left Sean very worried. Though Evan will later on be assaulted by Jan Spears, who will turn out to be alive. Once EJ discovers that Jake and Alva filled their marriage license, he'll ask Alva to move into the Dime Mirror Mansion. Later on, Gabi Hernandez tells Lai Shin about her plans with Ava. On Thursday, August 4, Paulina Price does her very best to get Abe Carver elected as governor. What's more, Paulina made things much wider by talking about Eric Brady and Nicole Walker Hernandez's noticeable chemistry. We also saw Jada Hunter asking Eric Brady out. As for Xander Cook, he was unable to convince Jada that Sarah was indeed innocent. Therefore, Xander and Sarah Cook will decide to take matters into their own hands. On Friday, August 5, Sarah and Xander snuck into Gwen's room with hopes of finding proof that she killed Abby. We then watched as Victor Kiriakis faced Alexander Neil Kiriakis about a business matter. We also watched as Channel Dupree caught Paulina Price and Johnny Dimira plan on making her break things off with Ali Horton. Speaking of Ali, she will also want Lucas Horton to take responsibility of his actions. Therefore, Friday's episode ended with Lucas admitting to kidnapping Sami Brady and framing E.J. Daimira. 